love, love, love. Welcome, Welcome back to our YouTube, our YouTube channel. channel. I'm Julian D. And I'm Princess Taer. And, and we, we are, are the 7-Eleven vloggers for the, for the day. day. So, are you ready to dance, Princess? Hold on! Before dancing or doing other strenuous physical activities, we must take note of something. Ah, yes, that's right. So I guess today we will be discussing the personal safety and health protocols which aid in performing physical activities such as dancing or exercising. So without further ado, let's get on with the video! First in our list is observing proper hygiene. Practicing proper hygiene makes you feel good about yourself as noted by the integrative medicine physician Donald Novick. It is important to be hygienic because in hygienic people, usually with disheveled hair and clothes, body odor, and bad breath are more un likely unhealthy and they often face discrimination. That's why proper hygiene is a must. Wait, wait. Uh, do you smell something? I mean, it's not me. Oh my gosh. Wait, I think it's you. Oh my gosh. Take a bath already or else. Energy, energy, cat. Besides proper hygiene, not skipping breakfast is another important protocol to take note of. As we all know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. But have you ever wondered why? Well, luckily, I'm here to explain the reason behind it. When we wake up, our blood sugar level drops down. That's why we need a nutrient-centered breakfast to provide us sufficient energy for the day. Eating foods rich in whole grains, proteins, fibers, or good fats can help us start our day right. For instance, eating egg or cereal is good. Are you Cheerios? Because you are good for my heart. OMG! Ano yung suot mo? Magpalit ka nga! You look like a... Oops, we don't do that here. Anyway, going back to the topic, wearing appropriate workout clothes is also important to help you become comfortable. If you want to exercise outdoors, it's significant to keep the weather in mind to be able to wear the appropriate clothing. Also, it's important to know that we have the freedom to choose what we want to wear as long as it's appropriate with the occasion or event. Just remember to dress properly. Moving on, it is important that we are aware of our training space, especially now that everything is done indoors due to the pandemic. Oops, I did not see that. Well, see, I told you, it's important to be aware of our space. Our safety is our own responsibility, but of course, the messes we make are as well. Without a doubt, it's better to clean and organize our workspace before exercising. Additionally, we should determine the easiest emergency exit route in case of an emergency in the training space. Ay, alam niyo ba ang chismis sa akin? Drinking the right amount of water makes you look young and fresh? I mean, it is common knowledge to always drink 6 to 8 glasses of water each day. Although everyone requires d different amounts of water each day, this is the given standard to follow. But have you wondered why? Well, water is extremely important for the proper functioning of our bodily systems and so that the waste in our body may be eliminated. Sometimes, we don't even know that we are already dehydrated. Luckily, we can take a peek at our urine scholar to know if we are well hy hydrated or not. Amber or dark yellow urine indicates dehydration, while colorless or light yellow urine means you drink enough water. Under the topic of hydration, hypothermia and hyperthermia are also important concepts to remember. Hyperthermia occurs when the body's temperature is over 38 degrees Celsius, and this happens when the body's heat regulation system is overwhelmed. On the other hand, hypothermia occurs when the body temperature is too low, lower than 35 degrees Celsius, which occurs when one is exposed in cold weather for too long. Hey, hey, are you okay? No, I'm feeling faint. I just finished my workout. Ah, I know what happened. You overexerted. Speaking of, the next thing to remember is to not overexert. Overexertion occurs when we perform physical activities that are beyond our body's capabilities. When one performs strenuous physical activities, there is a high tendency that he or she may overexert. Some signs of overexertion include dizziness, lightheadedness, or feeling faint. Did you hear that? There seems to be an emergency. I wonder what it is. I hope they're okay. Uh, moving on. Uh, we must also identify resources in the place where we exercise in case of emergency. For instance, there are barangay centers and ambulances present in each community, while there are school clinics which provide medical services when needed. Last but not the least, we should always be prepared. 30 minutes before exercising, one must prepare the necessary materials or equipment that he or she will use. This includes eating ahead of time so that the food may be digested before exercising. By failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Now that we have tackled all the 
personal safety and health protocols, we are ready to jazz the night away. Jazz the night away. These protocols, however, may still be lacking. But regardless, these are the basic protocols to take note of. Thank, Thank you, you for watching and, and see you see again, you again in, the in the next video. video. Remember, Remember to, to live, live love, laugh, love, and love. Because life is short. Get your jazz on!